Hey guys, how are you doing? This is Harjit here. I hope you are enjoying different videos on my channel. Uh, as part of today's video, we are going to discuss different type of joints that we have in Spark, how Spark implements those joints that you hit on using Spark SQL or uh, data frames or data sets. And uh, we'll specifically look into broadcast join, how you can optimize your joints using uh, broadcast join, how does it work? We'll look into that. So, uh, guys uh, let us start with this okay by default uh, spark uses either shuffle hash join or short merge join uh, depending on the version that you are using uh, spark started with using shuffle hash join that was the first implementation of join in spark uh, you know around 1.3 or 1.6 uh, shuffle hash join was moved uh, and uh, people start uh, spark started to use uh, sort merge join as a default join uh, then you know uh, in spark 2.0 uh, sort merge join was no more uh, default join you know again spark guys started to use shuffle has joined uh, but now in 2.3 they have moved again to uh, sort merge join so it has been on and off and uh, there has been a you know ongoing discussion in spark community that which is which should be the default way to join to data sets or rdds or data frames in spark uh, the third way you know if you want to understand these joins in deep uh, i have different videos uh, on these topics uh, you know you can look into that i'll still give you a one liner uh, about these uh, joins in shuffle has join your uh, uh, data is shuffled across machines based on a hashing key and uh, uh, you know then uh, uh, you know it, it, it is hoped that uh, 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 all the record which have same same hashing key should go to same machine and uh, they are shuffled uh, on that machine so that's how these happen in sort merge join the tables that you are trying to join they are sorted first and once they are sorted uh, then you know it becomes easier to join them uh, in broadcast join I'm going to cover this as part of this video in detail. Uh, in bucketed join, uh, you know, uh, tables are already bucketed on a specific key. Uh, so uh, you can think of it as a combination of sort merge and uh, shuffle join. So since data is already already bucketed and sorted within that bucket, uh, joins become pretty fast. So, uh, you know, that is also one form of join that you can use if your tables are already bucketed. So let's not uh, you know uh, waste time on this. If you want details specifically about different joins, shuffle hash join or short merge join or bucket join, I have different videos on that. Please look into that. As part of this video, we are going to cover broadcast join. Cool. Okay, let us understand this scenario. Broadcast join are supposed to be used when you have a one very small table and one uh, very huge table. So the whole idea is that uh, a small table is small enough to be sitting in a single machine and the big table is very big they, it cannot sit into a single machine and uh, you know uh, uh, it, it has to be divided into multiple parts and those parts will be sitting in different different machines so you know essentially that your executors so now if i want to join these two tables best strategy is what broadcast join does is that it takes a small table and it sends the copy of that small table to all the machines that are there on your cluster you know uh, on which your executors are running so uh, small table is then uh, you know loaded into memory and merged uh, or joined uh, with that particular part of that table uh, so you know that's how uh, you know it, it uh, since the table is very small there's not much shuffle that is happening so you can think that you know if your table is less than 500 mb or around like 100 mb 500 mb you know somewhere around that well if you, let's consider it less than 500 mb uh, then you should you know consider using broadcast join if you are using broadcast join for very huge tables uh, uh, you know if your both of your tables are very huge then it's not a good strategy to use uh, you know there is a property in spark spark.sql auto broadcast join uh, if 
uh, by default the, this property is set to 10 MB so if your table is greater than 10 MB size uh, uh, you will uh, by default uh, get sort merge join uh, you know which will be which is default in 2.3 spark uh, if your size of table if you can change this property you can increase the size to 1 GB or 500 MB you know in my experience I have seen that 500 MB is relatively a better option if you have a good huge cluster and good network bandwidth then probably 1 GB but you know 500 MB is which I uh, hold myself on to uh, to keep this number uh, you know it's very easy uh, to uh, join two tables suppose uh, you have two data frames data frame 1 and data frame 2 you just need to say data frame 1 dot join data frame 2 and then give the condition on which you want to do the join uh, so if you do query dot explain then uh, you will see that uh, broadcast exchange and broadcast has joined uh, happening in the physical plan so that's how you know uh, spark uh, deals with it it is not always possible to uh, you know use broadcast join as i have already told uh, if the size of both of your tables is very huge that uh, both of your table cannot sit into a single machine they have to be distributed into partitions and put into multiple machines in that situ situation you cannot use broadcast join you have to find out another optimal way to do join of those tables uh, you know that optimal way could be that you bucket both of your tables and then do the join or uh, you do you know sort merge join if those tables are not bucketed so depending on the situation of your table you have to take a call in some situations your uh, uh, tables can have very skewed data then you have to use salting as one approach to do the join so i have covered these topics in different set of videos uh, you know i request you to look, please look into those videos uh, as part of this se uh, second part of this video i am going to cover the practical for broadcast join uh, i hope you will enjoy uh, this video and the next video uh, of this series uh, please subscribe to my channel and share the video with your friend thank you